Hi folks, well, a uh, quick update on the uh, grow room. There's a few new things in what you haven't seen. Uh, I'd like to give a big thank you to Dale, Dale Calder. Uh, a very nice gentleman sent me some seeds. Uh, I'll just have a look see what we've got. Ruby Streaks Mustard. Never tried that, so I'm going to be planting some of that. Lime Basil, it's another one I've never tried. And cutting leaf celery. Uh, is it, it, Dale says this is really good. He says he prefers it to parsley now. So I'm going to be doing some of that. I did go out shopping today. <laughs> oh, yes. And uh, well, I went looking for this. That's um, grafting wax, which I'm going to need because some of the grafts I'm going to be doing, the cleft grafts, because of some of the wood what I'm being able to collect, um, or what I've got on some other trees, what I want to try and graft onto onto plum. So, I got some wax, and while I was out, I bought some seeds. <laughs> I need a bigger garden. <laughs> but I thought these were going to be fun. Again, for kids, multicoloured radishes and uh, multicoloured carrots. Now, these my carrots this year, I'm going to plant. I'm going to try a, a little method, a little bit like Dan does. I'm going to build a box, but I've decided not to. <laughs> But what I'm going to do is get a piece of drain, drainage pipe for, you know, the sort of 40mm, 50mm drainage pipe and plug the soil, pull out a plug. I might have to slit it down one side to actually get the, the earth out of it and then fill that all with nice, nice sort of fine compost and plant new carrots into that and hopefully get maximum sizes from it, you know. But I'd rather I'd rather have one at 30cm than five at like that that are all twisted and then it's more economical for space even and they look nice and you don't need to take out as many so that's my plan for that and as I was out I did have a rose water moment there's going to be a lot more flowers this year in my garden uh, my wife says so I did say you can't eat them but she says you can eat everything but sometimes you die and she did actually say that to me <laughs> I might have mentioned it before but it's true uh, Zinthia now I do like these myself, I really like these. Uh, the other year I planted some and I had uh, hummingbird moths. Uh, if you've ever seen one of them, it looks like a hummingbird, about that big and they sort of dart around. And that was the only plant I've ever seen it on in our garden. In fact, I've never seen one since. Just uh, just when I had the Cynthias, so Cynthias are going in. And I got some mixed marigolds. These are the open headed ones, so the bees and the things can get into them. Because there's some really fancy flowers, but the pollinators can't get into them because they've got so many petals so that's an open variety and I think that's about it uh, oh I did uh, break down and buy some uh, potting trays well I bought one this one <laughs> and a tray to one day reason being is I can get uh, 60 plants in that and a lot of smaller stuff slower growing stuff will go in that and I don't have to worry about potting up too quick. Obviously, if I was doing fast growing stuff, then I'd go into bigger pots like or the uh, solo cups because I've, I've just about to buy some more solo cups as well, but not a problem. If anybody's interested in what's going on with a rocket stove, I did uh, manage to order the steel, well, for the top at least, for the cassette. I got that ordered. And I haven't done a burn test yet because the weather's been really rubbish. Now I know I usually do this uh, update on a Sunday, which I could post it tomorrow I suppose, but I'm going to a flea market, a musical instrument and music flea market to feed my other obsession. <laughs> so uh, I might post some clips of that as it goes. But anyway, thanks again for looking. Well I need to do some tidying up and swapping round in here. Some stuff's going to go outside in under plastic and uh, I'll give you a look after. I'm going to harvest some peppers though first and I'll give you a look at them. So oh, these two plants, I've cut up foliage off them and took peppers off them. That's the harvest, which is not bad for indoors. I've got quite a few more on that other on other three plants that are under, which I'm going to leave because what I'm doing is making space for tomatoes, because they're getting too big to go up for the top now. So I'll take some of them red and green, and uh, as I said with these, I'm tempted to take seeds off that just to see if I can grow some of that will come like that every year. So I think that's what I will do, because I think that'll be quite fun. It, uh, it might taste lovely, the elephant pepper. 
and this is the other pepper plant with the long peppers I'm going to leave this to go a bit longer and uh, I say all I've tried to do underneath now is create space but hopefully that will be done very soon these are bell peppers now this one's got you know, four fruit on it which they're not bad considering they've been grown inside under lights you know what I mean under well cheap lights let's say and uh, this is other plant these aren't as big but these are both supposed to be California wonder but these guys I'll leave them to go on a bit longer I've pulled I've took all flowers off them now and uh, I put cut back a bit of vegetation around them just to hopefully to bring them on to ripen them up because I don't really want them in the grow room anymore <laughs> sort of thing or not growing I'm gonna put them to one side to rest them and see if they'll start up again when it's warm enough to get them outside when they've finished this crop same with the other one with long peppers but the, the other two plants I've, I've just trimmed them right back all leaves off and hopefully they'll survive so guys I'll just uh, get a look at some of the stuff that I've been doing since well since the last update two weeks ago although it's Saturday today there's a very special reason for that <laughs> I'm going somewhere else what I did is I planted a lot of lettuce seeds these are actually um, celery now there's six six plants in that now, I've, I've got quite a few of them but I did them the same same way I just put a few seeds in a pot and, and separated them now reason being is space <laughs> I could plant a full tray out and get some hits and misses and when I can just re-transplant re them up then it works well for me for the space mark uh, sort of thing um, some of these will be going to my father-in-law so I've got quite a few but some of them will be going to my father-in-law and say I did two cups two solo cups like that and I've got a tray of um, 24 lettuce there there on the uh, can you see this side of Lola Rosa and their dynamite from seeds that I saved for myself last year so I'm quite pleased they come up because the bought seeds what I bought last year didn't work very well I got 30 plants out of two of them little four solo cups and I say I planted them up last week so I'm really pleased with that the other stuff <laughs> these are the red sorrel I did exactly the same thing pricked them out I didn't lose one plant so I just pricked them out and repotted up and I've got two four six seven seven plants there to go around garden around that broccoli and stuff these are just some parsley plants same sort of thing I'll separate them these are Kelsey onions now I planted quite a few seeds in there and didn't get very good germination rate uh, I've got about seven plants so <laughs> I might try some more but I'm gonna go with them anyway and these are brassicas what I did what I started at first uh, these guys again can go outside under plastic and uh, that'll clear up some space in here for me I've, what I've got here is uh, broccoli savoy cabbage and some giant kohlrabi which the kohlrabi I'm sure I'll be planting some more of uh, the Savoy and broccoli I might plant some more later on in the year obviously try to depending on how much space I've got these guys here are the okra uh, as I say I don't know how, <laughs> I don't know how these are going to be how they're going to taste excuse me if you're looking at my teeth I don't know how these are going to be but uh, I'm going to try them and see if I like them or not habaneros not doing very much are they very slow look a little bit pale as well so I don't know what's going on there I don't know what sort of success I'm going to have with them. Some of these lettuce are actually going to go out into that uh, area where I've got plastic up outside, which uh, basically I'm going to put plastic bottles over it, stuff that goes out just to get a bit of extra protection. We're still getting minus four of it at night, so I thought I'm going to risk some of them. I'm pretty sure uh, the brassicas will be all right and they're not going to be at ground level, they're going to be off at ground because they're in a little sort of grow shelter, so to speak greenhouse stand up greenhouse go grow shelter but I'll put that out of them a bit of double protection which is a great idea that's uh I saw that first time on the order evolution so that's uh, a great idea well a greenhouse in a greenhouse same sort of thing just on a smaller scale the main reason I'm putting them peppers out uh, that I'm finishing peppers up is I've got to get these potted up into bigger pots and uh, underneath under higher lights I've had this light sort of <laughs> A crazy angle to accommodate for everything so these guys can now nah, sort of go down underneath in other light where taller stuff is and uh, hopefully well and they should be all right I mean 
they're doing extremely well. You can see actual differences in plants. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm quite intrigued to see what, what I get out of these, to be honest. And is this fail of the month? I don't know. <laughs> these, these are my Japanese maple. Uh, Dale's just done a clip and these are, these are actually breaking bud now. So, I'm quite, I'm, well done mate, you've got greener thumbs than me. I'm hoping that these will go. He, he had to he put a heat mat underneath, so that, that, that's an advantage I haven't had. I've, I've had them covered in a plastic bag though, to try and keep them sort of moist. But, the chewing gum plants, both of them have started. I'm convinced they'd go. I'm assuming these are going to take a bit longer. Although, and I have got some reserves in the ground outside, so I should get one at least. Please. Well, thanks for looking and uh, subscribing and sharing and liking. And don't forget, it is nice to be nice.